Hello everyone, this is Phantom Miner here, and today I have yet another DeviantArt story. So, it has been a while since I've made a story on my DeviantArt, and I was looking through some of my old stories on DeviantArt, and I had found this one that I had never recorded before, that I thought would make a really interesting series. I had never finished it because the person who had requested this on DeviantArt had deleted their account. So I never really saw much of a reason to continue with it, aside from the fact that not very many people seem to enjoy it. But I decided to post part one of this Rosalina X reader story to see what everybody else thinks. And see if you guys are okay with this beginning a series. And if you are, then tell me like, either by leaving a like down below or by commenting. Because that way I can gauge the... Like, gauge the um, support on this idea if i do get a lot of support on this i will be continuing to make videos on this story and i will continue to write it but if i don't get any but if people don't seem to like the idea then i will just continue writing it and not posting it on my youtube channel because i really like this idea and it feels like a crime not to be able to share it with the world because it's such a unique idea and i really really like it it's so much fun to read and what and write so I really hope that you guys enjoy. Um, why don't we go ahead and get started? It was another day on the Comet Observatory, and Rosalina was having her usual cigarette with her long and fancy cigarette holder. She sighed. Things have been so lonely on the Comet since Mario saved the galaxy. There hasn't been any need for him or anyone else to visit her. She sighed and finished her cigarette before heading and before getting ready for a nice, long, and warm bath. She surely needed it. After all, when you spend thousands of years in, on that comet and only being able to leave oh so very rarely, you go a tad bit insane. Meanwhile, you were on your home planet, planet insert planet name here, and you were setting up a cannon. You were sick of the boring life on your planet, and you really wanted to explore the stars in different galaxies. You finally got the cannon ready, and you got in, and blasted off to space. Rosalina was enjoying a nice, warm, and relaxing bath when you suddenly, until you came crashing into the restroom and straight into her chest. After a few moments, you finally registered what was happening, and you slowly moved your head. You looked up to meet Rosalina's beautiful baby blue eyes. You waited for a few seconds for the inevitable slap across the face. But it didn't come. You cleared your throat and spoke. Aren't you going to hit me? Yell at me? Call me a pervert? Rosalina shook her head. I don't see why I should. Didn't you come just come in here by accident? Yeah, but normally most girls don't believe that. Well, it surely isn't every day that strange men burst into my bathroom. Is it okay if you get off of me so I can get changed? Oh, sh sure. You stepped out of the restroom and waited for the strange woman to get changed. It's, it's not as if you've busted in on girls taking baths before, but even so, you thought that most normal girls would be furious at you for that. After a few minutes, the, the strange girl came out of her bathroom. I don't believe we've met. Nah, I'd remember you if we, if we did, he said in, with a joking tone. She giggled and said, Well, I'm Rosalina. And you are? That's a lovely name. And your name. Thank you. And you have a nice name as well. Rosalina said and bowed. You were confused at first, but went along with it and bowed. She then gave you some clean and dry clothes and offered you some tea. You two chit-chatted and you began talking about your life on your planet. You talked about how you were sick of the boring and lonely life there, since everyone else didn't seem to care for exploring beyond their home, beyond their planet, much less a place like their house. Since you were often so alone, and since you were the only one who desired adventure, you decided to leave and venture off into the stars. After you finished rambling, Rosalina pondered all of what you said for a few moments. She then looked up, into, looked up to face your eye-colored eyes and said with enthusiasm, I think I can understand that. If you'd like, you can stay with me for as long as you'd want. Plus, I can help you with your little adventure. Anytime you'd like to venture off into space, let me know and I can help. Rosalina said and picked up the teacups and began to walk away, but you stopped her. Wait! She stopped and turned to you. I don't get it. I burst into your bathroom and invade your privacy, and you offer me tea and a place to stay? You really don't seem like a normal girl. That's for two reasons. One, 
You said you came here by accident, and you didn't intend to walk in on my back. Two, I am by no means a normal girl. I know it may sound strange to live with a girl who you've seen naked, but where else can you go? There was an awkward silence for a few moments as she thought about what she said. What do you mean? What does she mean she's not normal? Why would she allow a person who accidentally saw her naked to live with her? I do need a place to stay. Plus, there's something about her that just intrigues me. She has something about her that I need to know about. Ugh, these thoughts aren't getting me anywhere. I might as well accept the offer. Okay, I'll stay here, but on one condition. And that is, I don't have to barge in on you while, ta while in the bathroom again. You said I'm joking me. She smiled and laughed a small bit. I think that makes two of us, but I suppose that's a fair agreement. We both smiled and laughed before she left to clean the dishes, and you began to settle into your new and strange home. Well, I'll come and see. This was actually a lot of fun to make, and he, and the person who requested this story idea, they sadly had deleted their DeviantArt account, which means that I can't exactly give them a shout out. Plus, I don't know if they even watch my YouTube videos, but if they do, you can thank Heavier Lobster for the one who had come up with this idea. They were the ones who came up with the entire idea of me making this story, and they had amazing ideas on what to do. They gave me a really excellent different ideas. They gave me a lot of good uh, good feedback. And I think it was a lot of fun making this for them. And I surely do enjoy what... M enjoy, and I really enjoyed making it at the time. Um, the person who had requested it... Let me see if I can find his... Um, this person had said, and I quote, Throughout the story, Rosalina would have a long, fancy cigarette holder with a lit cigarette at the tip glowing like a twinkling star. The smoke from the cigarette would look like would make various shapes. The reader wants to explore the stars, so they build themselves a cannon and blast themselves into space. They end up on the comic observatory, where they crash into Rosalind's bathroom and land face first into her chest while she's bathing. Rosalind is surprisingly calm and casual about this, and offers the reader to stay with her as long as she like as long as they like while they explore the stars. Over time, they bond and grow close to romantic things such as getting fired from the cosmic cannon through space together. At one point, instead of her usual cigarette holder, Rosalina would have a big, tremendously fat rainbow cigar in her mouth. Rosalina also owns a cosmic cannon for firing the reader and or herself out of it, and she li which she lights with the cigarette holder. The reader enjoys exploring the various planets and galaxies, and Rosalina helps them by launching them deep into space where they vanish like a with a twinkle. She does this in numerous ways, but be it slapping them, kicking them, blasting them with, with wand magic, turning her wand into a huge star mallet and smacking them, or talking them into her cannon and lighting it. They to find this fun, and they always find their way back to the observatory. This was such a really good and really specific idea that I couldn't help but that I simply couldn't turn down the opportunity to make it. Although I was surprised that this person couldn't make the story themselves because they had already come up with such a really unique concept. I don't think I've ever come across a Rosalind X radio story this unique. So I really, really like it. And that's the reason why I began to write it. I only ever think made, I think I only ever made three parts of this, potentially two at the most. But it was so much fun making it at the time. And I really always enjoyed making it because of how unique it was. So, I really, really hope that you all agree that this would make a really good story. But nonetheless, everybody, thank you all so very much for watching. And as always, this is Venom Writer, and I'll be seeing you all very soon. Bye-bye.